Welcome back to Modern Salon TV. I'm TJ Hughes. And I'm Trevor Denis. Last episode, we went to Vegas for Redkin's Symposium. We took a look backstage at a drag show to learn about the incredible transformations. And went behind the scenes of an exclusive modern photo shoot. This episode, Beth Minardi shows us how to create low maintenance hair color for a traveling client. We hit up Long Beach's International Salon and Spa Expo. Travel to Palm Springs for Matrix Imagination event. And catch up with Tabitha Coffee. Known for her creative color techniques and customization, it comes as no surprise Beth Minardi is one of the country's leading colorists and educators. So, when Modern challenged Beth to create low maintenance hair color for a client leaving the country for four months, she jumped at the chance. Check out her amazing results. If I brighten and lighten the ends and it looks as though the sun highlighted her hair, it's fine. What you don't want is a solid line of demarcation. What you don't want is black roots and white ends. So what I'm going to be doing is a little veneering or edging and adding a little bit of brown, a little bit of blonde, concentrating more blonde at the root and more brown through the hair strands. But I'm also going to be weaving in a demi-permanent no-lift low light and you will see beautifully fresh looking, sexy but a bit rooty hair. So remember, deep at the root, new exciting shots of blonde with a little bit of brown running through, it's going to look great. I think Stephen did a fabulous job styling Margot's hair and you see she's highlighted, it's soft, it's natural. She's much browner, less blonde and the balance will be per just perfect, just terrific. It's the first show of the season. The International Salon and Spa Expo in Long Beach, California was a showcase of new product launches, demos on the latest techniques from world-class educators and complete with events, inspiration and networking. Modern of course was there to catch all of the action. Check it out. It does not get much better than this. I'm at the International Salon and Spa Expo in Long Beach, California. We're here having a lot of fun at the Chi booth. Let's go check out the rest of the show. You have to realize that if you think you're a good cutter, you should see the magic in your hands to make the hair do anything. And I'm going to show you the new Vibe Magnetic Clipper. It's got an adjustable head on it that goes from a 3-0 size on the closest setting to a size 1 and everywhere in between. Now, this magnetic vibe clipper has slight vibration that actually vibrates the hair perfectly straight to the cutting blade. If you put it this way, I can put it, I can put a dread on anyone. Modern headed to Palm Springs, California for Matrix Imagination event. Here, thousands of hairdressers gathered in support of the professional beauty industry. Senior editor Allison Shipley was there to bring us a glimpse of the spectacular show. Imagine all you can be. Imagine all you can do. That was the message shared by Matrix to 1,600 stylists at the Imagination event in Palm Springs. For three days, Matrix brought imagination to life. The secret? All you need is love. To kick off the event, the six Spread the Love winners were greeted by their mentors, Matrix Artistic Designers. It was so fun to watch them meet the people who will be guiding them through their six-month journey. The winners, along with the 100-plus Spread the Love salons, receive the digital cameras, computers, and phones to help them blog. With those gadgets, though, came the questions. How to blog, what to blog about. That's where I came in to help by hosting blogger training workshops. If what you're writing about is what you're passionate about and you have something to say, you should absolutely say it. But if you're just blogging to fill up space, it's not going to be effective. A spectacular grand opening kicked off the event, featuring the brought to life 2010 Naha submissions of Matrix Artistic Designers Nicholas French, Brian and Sandra Smith, Patrick McIver, Daniel Rolden, Ammon Carver, Christopher Benson, and Nick Stenson. They were amazing. 
There were so many fantastic moments at Imagination, but some of the most exciting was the launch of the new Matrix Professional site, unveiled at the Digital Extravaganza, and Chairs of Change, which empower stylists to contribute positive change in their communities. To go along with the love theme of Imagination was a decade of love party, where attendees were treated to a surprise private concert by a love train artist, the OJs. It was such an amazing experience. Be sure to check out ModernSalon.com for the full blog coverage. More than 5 million viewers took in the 17th annual Screen Actors Guild Awards. And did you catch the glitz and glamour scene of the Grammys? If you missed out on the look scene on the red carpet, here's Modern Salon TV reporter Kelly Sizen with the full report. The 2011 Screen Actors Guild Awards showcased hair that had a lot of ups, downs, and ponytails. For the ups, we love January Jones' side-swept hair, which didn't compete with her elaborate gown. Eva Longoria looked like a Greek goddess with her perfect quaff and sweeping ivy dress. And Natalie Portman kept it sweet and simple and strapless with her slicked back bun. For the downs, Julie Bowen's long straight hair paired nicely with her long lean pantsuit. Leah Michelle rocked sexy waves in an even sexier gown. And Mila Kunis' gorgeous flowing locks match her equally gorgeous flowing gown. In the best look of the night, Angie Harmon really ruffled our feathers with her chic pony and pink ball gown. Over at the 53rd Annual Grammy Awards, our favorite performers wowed with looks that were a little edgier. Katy Perry's shiny waves, jewel tone makeup, and glittery gown made her a fan favorite. Rihanna looked picture perfect with rosy makeup, bold red locks, and a peekaboo dress. Miranda Lambert's swept back hair and neutral makeup complemented her sexy one-shoulder gown. Beyonce and Gwyneth Paltrow showed off matching golden locks and glittery black ensembles. And Lady Gaga went avant-garde with a high pony, playful makeup, and lots of black leather. And those are our favorite celebrity looks from two unforgettable nights. This segment is sponsored by Matrix, committed to celebrating how stylists create change around the world and to making change happen in the fight against diversion. Watch for a special message from Matrix after the season finale of Tabitha's Salon Takeover. It's not really about the hit Bravo TV show, her business building advice, or her no excuses attitude that made Tabitha Coffey a success. With her new book launch, It's Not Really About the Hair, we catch up with Tabitha to hear why all salon owners should pick up a copy and how Salon Takeover has changed her life. You know, the book is really, it's called It's Not Really About the Hair and it isn't just about the hair. I have a chapter in there that talks about how I got started in the industry, why I was so young, what led me to find my passion. I have a chapter in there, how to fire someone for business owners out there. It isn't specifically just about the beauty industry, but it definitely, I think, is relevant to any salon owner or stylist out there. Well, I've learned so much from your show. What have you learned from the show? It's validated to me how much I love our industry because I truly do go in there to help these people. I think what I have learned is that there's still a lot of work that we need to do within the industry, especially on the business end, because we're great hearted people as hairdressers and we're very caring and we can be great technicians and creative people, but sometimes not so business minded. So I'm hoping that I'm kind of changing that a little bit and getting people to think a little bit more about the business end of the business so that they don't feel so scared of that. Thanks for tuning in. Want to be featured in the next episode of Modern Salon TV? Then be sure to join Modern on Facebook at facebook.com slash modern salon to tell us why. In our next episode, we cover New York's Fashion Week. But for now, stay tuned for your favorite industry faces. See you in two weeks. Hi, we're watching Modern Salon TV. Hi, my name is Nas Kupelian and I'm watching Modern Salon TV. Hi, I'm Mark Hayes, Sassoon International Creative Director, and we're both watching Modern Salon TV.